volumetric lighting is a technique of simulating scattering light in particles in the air, such as mist or even dust particles. It's perfect for creating atmosphere in our scene, especially in noir or horror-like environments such as Silent Hill. But if used correctly, it can enhance almost any scenes. To create a volumetric effect, we only need two things. First, a spotlight as light source. And second, exponential height fog. Then, in our exponential height fog, we need to go to volumetric fog section and enable volumetric fog checkbox. For the effect to be visible in viewport, we need to enter a game view mode by using shortcut key G or by selecting it from viewport menu. If we still can't see anything, it means we need to increase some parameters, such as fog density in exponential height fog node. Intensity of the light also affects volumetric effects. If it's too low, it won't be visible. So let's increase the intensity of our light and see if it helps. If the volumetric effect is still not strong enough, we can increase the volumetric scattering intensity in the light tab. By default, it's set to 1 and we can drag it to maximum of 4. The effect become much more visible and the light intensity remain unchanged. Additionally, we can enter numerical value that goes beyond what the slider offers. Now, if we import additional geometry asset that will abstract our light, we will see how it behaves. Let's choose a gravestone. It will look nice lit by volumetric lighting. For now, the gravestone does not block a volumetric light yet. To change that, we need to go to our light options and find at the bottom cast volumetric shadow and enable it. This will allow our volumetric light to cast correct shadow. If this option is turned off, it will be less resource hungry for our computer. But at the same time, the volumetric effect will pass through walls and floor. If it will be visible, it will most likely look bad. However, there are situations in which this may look good and not make big of a difference. For example, street lights, which light volumetric light on the street. We won't be going below the surface level, so we won't notice that such effect is present. And at the same time, it will be lighter for our computer. Volumetric effects are based on voxels, which are not very high in resolution and we don't have direct control over them. So if we boost them too much and it's very intense and sharp, it's very possible that, especially at the light source, additional artifacts will appear and unfortunately it won't look too good. So we have to take this into consideration. Another option you can do to soften this effect a little bit is by using post-process volume. First, as usual, we enable unbound so that node will affect entire scene and then we can add bloom effect, which will give us romantic glow effect. And at the same time, our volumetric light will spread out more gently. But but here too, we have to be careful with the intensity of this effect because it will affect the entire scene. So it may be that some element will be too bright and overblown and will be shining too much in our scene. Ok, let's go back to our first initial scene. I will turn off the directional light that I use only when I work on the scene and then it's completely turned off. And here too, to see effects at all, we have to go to game mode. And here in this scene, all the glow in the back, all the fog is built exactly the same using exponential height fog and few soft lights, which give us little artistic control over this effect and let us change it in some way. In this light, a large source radius and soft source radius are set, so the light is not infinitely small point and therefore does not give us such sharp shadow as it would if these values were set to zero. Additionally, if you want the light to affect our fog but not illuminate our scene, we have that option. It's a little bit like light linking from classical 3D programs. All you have to do is to find parameter light channel and choose one of three available options, 0, 1, 2. By choosing the channel that is different from all our objects in the scene, we we'll only illuminate the fog but not any object. This gives us control over our environment, our fog and atmosphere but at the same time we don't have to worry about affecting anything else with our light. I did a similar thing with the rim light for this deer. This light only affects the deer and nothing else. And as you can see the light does not affect the car at all, until we turn on additional light channel. Every object and light can affect any of these three channels, one, all of them or any combination. And the last thing. If in our exponential height fog we have very dense fog, for example fog density value is very high, then just like in a previous spotlight scene, we can not only increase the value of our volumetric scattering intensity parameter above 4, but we can also decrease it to the lower value that the slider normally allows us to do. In this case, we set it to 0. This will ensure that the light will not affect the fog at all. 